Hello friends, we will see today primary tillage implements MB plow from the course Farm Machinery and Power. The main implement for primary tillage is plow. There are different types of plow used for plowing operations. Plowing operation is primary tillage operation which is performed to cut, break and invert the soil partially or completely. Plowing essentially means opening the upper crust of the soil, breaking the clots and making the soil suitable for sowing seeds. So what is purpose of plowing? There are different of, uh, purpose of the plowing and they are also the objective of primary tillage. Number one, to obtain deep seed bed of good structure. Number two, increase water holding capacity of the soil. Number three, to improve the soil aeration and prevent soil erosion. Number four, to destroy weeds and grasses, insects and pests. Number five, to add fertility to the soil by covering vegetation. Types of the plow, indigenous plow, soil turning plow, MB plow, or it is called as a mold bowl plow, disc plow. Other types of plows are chisel plow, rotary plow, subsoiler, etc. So this is the indigenous plow which is widely used or mostly used in India, having the powers, handle, body, rope and the shoe, share point, etc. It is commonly used in India. The shape and size of the plow varies with places and regions due to variation in soil types and tillage requirements. The main components of indigenous plow are body, share, shoe, beam and handle. Uh, body, it is the main frame to which shoe, beam and handle are attached. Share, it is a narrow steel bar attached to upper surface of the shoe longitudinally along the center line and projecting slightly out. The shoe beam and handle are generally attached to the body of the bottom. Share is attached to the shoe which penetrates into the soil and breaks it open. Shoe also helps in stabilizing and balancing the plow while in operation. The plow is provided with wooden beam and handle. The soil turning plow are animal drawn or they are also a tractor drawn MB plow. Animal drawn uh, fixed type of MB plow are one way or two way type plow. It is a reversible or turn rest uh, type plow. A reversible or turn rest uh, type of MB plow. It has handle, mold bowl, share, etc. and used in Maharashtra. Reversible or turn rest MB plow having a, a single plow bottom with an arrangement to change the plow bottom from right hand side to the left hand side by rotating it through approximately 180 degree about a longitudinal axis. Mold bowl plow has the components or uh, different types of components having different functions. So the functions of MB plow are number one cutting the furrow slice, number two lifting the furrow slice, number three turning the furrow slice, number four pulverizing the soil. Parts of the plow you can see the figure number one beam, number two three point hitch, number three height regulator, number four coulter, number five shear point, number six shear, number seven Moldable plow. Moldable plow inverts turns residue under soil surface. These are the views of uh, MB plow. It has the components like shear, landslide, frog, mold bold. In short, it is called as MB. Tail piece, it is also called as a frog. You can see the figures and the parts of MB plow. This is the overall figure showing components of uh, moldable plow. Like you can say uh, the shear, shear has the point of shear which actually penetrates into the soil. This is the cutting edge of the shear. This is wing of shear. This is gunnel of shear. This part is called as a mold bowl. This is land side. The rear side of the land side is known as hill of land side then this is the brace this is the frog and this is the beam frog is the component to which all components are attached
all uh, these components having uh, different or particular functions while in operation shear is the part of the plow which penetrates into the soil and makes a horizontal cut below the soil surface material of shear the shear is made of chill cast iron or steel having 0.70 to 0.80% carbon and 0. 502 0.80% manganese and this is the figure showing gunnel of the share share point then cutting edge of the share and wing of the share so these are the description of all the components of the share share it is the forward end of cutting edge which actually penetrate into the soil cutting edge of the share it is the front edge of the share which makes horizontal cut below the soil surface wing of shear it is the outer end of cutting edge of the shear it supports the plow bottom then the gunnel of shear this is actually shear point cutting edge of the shear wing of shear gunnel of the shear they are the components of uh, shear actually it is the vertical face of the shear which slides along the furrow wall gunnel it takes the side thrust of the soil and supports the plow bottom against the furrow wall then the cleavage edge it is the edge of the shear which forms joint between mold bolt and shear on the frog wing bearing it is the level portion of the wing of the shear providing bearing of outer corner of the plow bottom type of the shear according to the requirement there are different types of the shear like slip shear slip nose shear shin shear and bar point shear slip nose shear it is a single piece it has no additional part it is common type of the shear mostly used by the farmers it is simple in design but it has disadvantage that the entire shear has to be replaced when it is worn out slip nose shear it is a shear in which the point of the shear is provided by a small detachable piece it has advantage that shear point can be replaced when required and if the point is worn out it can be changed without reply, replacing the entire shear uh, saving the money then thin shear it is a shear having a shin as an additional part it is similar to slip shear with the difference that an extension is provided to it by side of the mold bolt bar point shear it is a shear in which the point of shear is provided by an adjustable and replaceable bar this bar serves the purpose of point of shear and lets side of the plow mold bolt mold bolt is the part of the plow which receives the furrow slice from the shear it leaves turns and breaks the furrow slice this is the main function of the mold bowl to suit different soil conditions and crop requirements mold bowl plow are of different shapes it is made of mild steel or cast iron there are types of mold bowl according to the requirement and uh, the operation general purpose stubble purpose then uh, sod or breaker type then the slat type this is the figure of general uh, purpose mold bowl it has medium curvature lying between stubble and sod the sloping of surface is gradual it turns well defined furrow slice and polarizes the soil thoroughly it has fairly long mold bowl uh, with a gradual twist the surface being slightly convex stubble mold bowl it is a short but broader mold bowl with a relatively abrupt curvature which lifts breaks and turns the furrow slice used in stubble soils it is very suitable for stubble soils uh, when other mold bowls uh, not suitable for uh, lands of uh, grasses this will work there sod or breaker mold bowl it has a gentle curvature used in tough grasses of the soil it turns very thickly covered soil 
This is very useful where complete inversion of the soil is required by the farmer. This type has been designed for using short soils. It is a mold bowl, slat type mold bowl. It has slats along the length uh, of the mold bowl so that there are gaps between the slats. This type of mold bowl is often used where the soil is sticky because the uh, solid mold bowl does not score well in sticky soils. Landslide is also an important component which slides along the furrow all. It helps in stabilizing the furrow to resist the side pressure exerted by the furrow slice. The rear bottom end of the landslide is known as hillop landslide which rubs, which rubs against the furrow sole. Frog is the component of the MB plow to which all other components are attached. Frog is also known as a tailpiece. Tailpiece is another uh, extension of mold bowl which turns in turning a furrow slice. Thank you.